day watchers welcome to Perth watch your horology channel broadcasting from right here in Perth Western Australia uh, now today I am featuring a main watches piece I have reviewed main watches before uh, some time ago I'll put a link to the previous watch here uh, if you're interested to check it out now this comes in a fairly long box it's not very easy to spin and it doesn't spin very well I'm not going to try too hard in case I knock my tripod off the table here uh, it does come with a envelope with a few different items here interestingly um, uh, so authenticity uh, that's interesting but sure the form it says there uh, it's got a uh, first edition and apparently one out of 300 which is interesting maybe this can resell for uh, quite nicely and then instead of a manual you get a website in, uh, you know URL to download the manual if you wish but most of the time you don't need it for much of these kind of simpler automatic watches so that's the box there just opening it up and going to show some of these things to you so just a bit of a thank you there's a tag here uh, Instagram apparently the social media of choice all right let's put that away and show you the watch in here in closer detail so guys in here is the main Greenwich GMT 38 millimeter automatic a watch that I think it's doing quite well and really you can see why because it is quite a fine piece now the price of this uh, it's not a cheap watch it's 640 euros is what it's listed for and that's somewhere above 700 USD in today's exchange rate that I have checked uh, so you know not the cheapest watch but let's get into details and you can tell me if you think this is of value it does come in uh, a blue version as well as a red version the red index version check out the website if you wish to find out more details okay first up as I always do uh, tend to do is uh, talk about the movement so in here uh, guys is the Swiss Tech S24-045 a movement I haven't featured on the channel before it is a GMT movement of course high beat at 28800 uh, beats per hour 28 jewel count 40 hour reserve it does have a quick set date in this case black writing on white this at the three o'clock position which is not bad you know it offsets the nine o'clock index there with that white uh, rectangle it does have hacking and manual winding and then it's got an, a GMT hand which you have to set independently it doesn't kind of click into our positions which is a slight annoyance uh, about this movement it doesn't actually automatically click into a nice discrete 24 hour positions you have to carefully set it now, rated accuracy is unknown in use this is running slightly fast at plus 20 seconds per day if I'm going to keep this long term I would be tempted to you know regulate that a bit better right moving on then to the case so the case here is a 38 millimeter case all right it's a 316 L steel 12.7 millimeters on the thickness which is not bad at all 20 millimeter lug width and they are drilled lugs which is really quite pleasing I always like to see drilled lugs lug to lug distance between my thumbs which is probably as you expect for a 38 millimeter case this is 46 millimeters you know very easy to fit almost any guy that I know and overall weight on this rubber strap is only 79 grams very easy to forget this on your wrist when you wear it day to day Finishing then. Okay, so it's got what they call a step up bezel. Right, hopefully, you can see that bezel is a step bezel. It's polished initially and then it goes into a brush finishing. Longitudinal brushing on the top surface of the lugs, transitioning to a nice polish, right? Sharply transitioning, pretty good here. Sharp, you know, uh, polished nicely on the sides and then circular brushing on the case back there. So it's got a solid screw down case back, no display on there. And in fact, it is just a very simple, it's this first edition and number there, nothing else on that case back. I'm not sure whether future editions will have more, but that's actually relatively plain. Uh, it's got a screw down, sign crown, and the water resistant rating is an everyday capable 100 meters. This is what they've gone for here. All right, let's talk about the dial now. So here is a gloss black dial. It is an enamel dial. That's what they've stipulated. So that does entail some increased costs when you have to make an enamel dial. Printed details, so right in the enamel uh, kind of treatment there. It's got a chapter ring around the periphery, uh, kind of this broken uh, hands there with uh, numerals you can see in uh, each of the 12 
positions there. In fact, those are GMT numerals. You know, it goes 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, etc. The hands are polished. I don't know what you call these hands. I, I'm tempted to call them ziggurat hands. I've heard that term used before. It's got a simple lollipop for the seconds and it's got a orange arrow-shaped GMT hand, uh, which is you know pretty nice pop of color uh, on this otherwise monochrome dial. C3 X1 Super Luminova in all the spots that you expect and that means all 12 indices as well as all four hands. Lumshot right here of course to let you guys appreciate how it glows in the dark. Okay moving on there uh, from there is uh, above the dial we have a lightly domed sapphire, quite a nice dome sapphire with internal anti-reflective treatment. Uh, it does have a step edge, hopefully you can appreciate that. It would be great if it was a box sapphire, but look this is also pretty good. I don't mind this at all, this lightly domed sapphire. Strap wise, okay, let's see it, hopefully you can appreciate the texture there. It's a, it's a kind of a textured uh, treatment on this Tropic rubber strap. It does taper to 18 millimeters, uh, you know, away from the case and it's got fairly simple yet utilitarian polished hardware. Right, that's the entire description of the watch. Let's pop it on the wrist now for a wrist shot for you guys. And there we have it, the main Greenwich 38mm GMT automatic on my 17cm wrist. So remember, just over 12mm on the thickness, 46mm lug to lug distance is, you know, easy to fit for just about any guy that I've known. In fact, uh, I think my wife could also carry this without too much trouble. You know, a nice, very modestly sized piece and that's how it looks like on this Tropic rubber strap. Right guys, so what have I particularly enjoyed about this watch? Look, I think this is a beautifully made, you know, very uh, modestly sized everyday GMT watch. The fit and finish is excellent, right? Swiss made from main watches. It is so easy to wear this and so light and comfortable and I, I've just kept wearing this day after day. I think I wore it three weeks straight. Check out my recent videos. You can see that a lot of them I had this on my wrist. I think the details, you know, are really nice little details they've gone here, you know, superlative legible enamel dial, right? This black on white monochrome is excellently legible, just, you know, very, pretty much second to none, I think, in terms of legibility. Uh, it's very, very easy to read for this size. It's a well done case, and I think it's got nicely engineered details, you know, the way the lugs turn down gently towards the wrist, you know, that step bezel, I really appreciate these little details. You know, what are the weaknesses of this watch? Not much to say. I think the strap, um, the holes are a bit widely spaced, right? So if you don't happen to be suiting, uh, you know, exactly to one of these holes, you might find that it's either too light or too loose. Fortunately, this suits me okay. Uh, but, you know, I think for some people, you might find those holes are a little bit too widely spaced. Uh, the website currently shows a different type of rubber strap with butterfly clasps. I'm not sure whether that's a better option because it looks like you have to cut that precisely to size and you can't hand that off to someone else. So I probably prefer a rubber strap like this that you can you know, resize, hand it to a friend for them to try, etc. Uh, the price, you know, the price at 640 euros, that might prove to be prohibitive to some, but look, you're getting a real good quality Swiss made watch a Swiss tech movement which is kind of a, a takeoff from the ETA uh, quality, maybe not quite ETA but look it's Swiss made STP and it seems to be pretty well respected. Um, and it's also going enamel down and remember enamel proper finishing you know the way to make it is pretty labor intensive so some costs has to come into that. Uh, but let me know if you think this is a bit too much. I think for the price it's certainly a level above any of those 500 USD micro brands that offer Swiss movements but don't quite have the enamel and the quality finishing of this main. Alright guys, so there you go, my thoughts, my review of this main Greenwich 38mm GMT. Let's flip it around now for the wrap up. So there you go guys, I hope you enjoyed that quick fire review. Let me know your thoughts and comments below. Always look forward to the discussion from my viewers. Guys, if you enjoy my videos, do consider subscribing. New content every week, always aiming to be objective and unbiased about all things horology. Thank you again for sticking with me and as always, I'll catch you guys again next time.